<laughs> What's goody perps? Happy Saturday. <laughs> so today is a thrift haul that I'm doing from the Goodwill Biz as always. Maybe one of these days I'll start venturing out again to go to normal thrift stores. But for now, we're gonna stick to what works, which is the Goodwill Bins. And I just love the Goodwill Bins because you can get anything there. They don't discriminate on any styles. So you're not gonna just find this and this and this, but just a whole variety of things. Okay, today I'm gonna go over my outfit. <laughs> Why did you sound like that though? Um, I'm wearing a tank top. I don't remember where I got this tank top from, but it's like, but like the see-through back with the lace and stuff. I think I got it from Dots many years ago. I did not do any, um, I didn't thrift this. Believe it or not, I didn't thrift all my clothes like 10 years ago, but every outfit I have now does. And for some reason, one of the originals still survives. And I need to bring the camera down from my pants. But um, I'm wearing the MC Hammer pants. Um, this is from the style Amon Amanchai. Oh, it can't be high waist if you wanted to. <laughs> Um, I have it kind of like midway through and they're really like crazy unique pants. I know I don't have the best angle. Don't mind the shoes. I'm still working on my shoe game, but I'm wearing my Yoshi slippers. As for the thrift haul. As for the thrift haul. Okay, so there's about 20 pieces of clothing in here. Um, there were more stuff that I bought for myself that's not included in here. So keep that in mind when I tell you the total. The total for each piece was a dollar and three cents. So let's get started. All right, so the first one we have are leggings from Adidas. And while I was inventorying this, I noticed that there was a flaw. You can't even really notice it unless you're really, really looking. But there's a hole on the very bottom, or a little tear, I should say. So, I will of course disclose that and hope that it still sells, but it's cute because it's like meshy and stuff. And I think someone would still like it, maybe, hopefully. I think they're really cute. If no one buys it, I wouldn't even mind keeping this. Like, I wear this it's really cute, even though it's not a turbo. So the second one we got is a Victoria's Secret. It's not a hoodie, it's not quite a hoodie, it's like a mock neck. And it has like pink all down the sleeves and stuff. And then on the bottom, it's like gray. I wonder if I put that on the inventory list. Yeah, it's like gray on the bottom. Mock neck, really, really good condition. Didn't notice any flaws or anything. Okay, so I got a lot of these on this trip. They're not in the best sizes though, so I'm not like super, super excited, but all right, so this is American Eagle. Um, this is a super, super stretch, and it's in a size two. So it's a dragon they have it listed as. So it's in a size two. I wasn't extremely excited about it. There's also really bad dimpling here, like on the front and here in the back, and I can, I decided, or I'm pondered and wondered whether or not I should still pick this up and I decided to do so in the end because I have sold um, American Eagle jeans even just recently I think like a couple days ago so it was shorts that had dimpling on it and they still bought it so worst case scenario I lost a dollar and three cents <laughs> okay so this is also from American Eagle um, this is the next level stretch and this is the high-rise jegging, and you know high-rise always do very well, and also is very distressed, so that does very well. Um, I believe I saw some dimpling on here. No, no, there's no dimpling on here. Uh, but, 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 it's a size two short. So not only is it a size two, you know size twos don't sell as quickly, it's also for petite, so. But it's a really neat, nice pair of pants, you know? The sizes are all 
And I don't know that this one same person like donated all of this, but I found these all in completely different bins. None of them was in the same bin. One was like on one end of the store to the other. So I don't know if this is just pure coincidence or, or what. All right, so yeah, so you got it. Next one is American Eagle. This is the next level stretch. Also distressed. Um, there is some dimpling here in the crotch area, but it's not, it's really not that noticeable. Like that's not even worth like mentioning because you can barely tell. Um, this is a high rise jegging. And this is um, also in a size two, but this is a regular size two. It's not in a pitsy. The next one we have is the American Eagle Super Stretch. And of course, it's the super high rise jegging. Um, this is size two, petite, <laughs> but it's also really distressed and everything like on the bottom, on the knees. You already know the deal. All right, so we have a bra, has pink on the inside, black on the outside. Um, this is from Pink Victoria's Secret. Um, very simple bra. Not much going on, but you know, they sell. I usually list all my bras at $18 and then pretty much accept any offer that comes my way. <laughs> um, this is called the Wear Everywhere Demi Bra and it's in a size 36A. A cups don't sell that quickly for me, but can't leave Victoria's Secret behind. Okay. This is called the Cool and Comfy Leggings. And I forgot what the name of this thing is. What, what, is, what is the name of this? Like, it's, it's kind of see-through, but it's not mesh. Oh, it's like net, net. I think that's the word I was looking for. So it has like net and stuff in there. And it feels just like what they call it, super comfy. It really is a different fabric from what I'm used to the Victoria's Secret pink. Um, but it has like pink written on the back and stuff. These are very, very nice leggings in a size medium. All right, so we have another pair of American Eagle jeans. Um, this is the next level stretch, high rise shorty. And I actually had a pair of these and I put them up for sale on the website and I'm not exactly sure why. I should have just kept it for myself. Um, mine is in a size 6, this is a size 4, but the same exact pair. Um, I thought I saw some kind of staining on here. Every time I look again, it looks like it disappeared. Oh, damn. Yeah. Looks like, I don't know if it's staining, it just looks like some dirt or whatever got on there, but I'll probably just wash that out and it shouldn't be an issue. Um, American Eagle jeans, guys, it's like, if it it's like, I love it. If it it's like a dream. So I might take those things off of the website and just keep it for myself. I don't know why I'm selling it. I really and honestly truly don't know. I don't know. I have no excuses as to why I put it up for sale. Um, it's been sitting on the website though for quite a while. It probably has something to do with the size because if I put up any other American Eagle jeans in bigger sizes, they sell just like that. Um, for shorts, long pants, or whatever. Um, especially when it's like the super stretchy or if it's like a high rise or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's, so it's been sitting for a while. I guess it's size six and it's getting lots of attention but it just hasn't sold yet. So for the next one, it is like a floral black and gray bra. This is from Victoria's Secret. I don't think this is from Pink. Yeah, it's just from regular Victoria's Secret in a size 36B. Okay, this is my first Lulu's piece that I pick up. I hear Mogi Beth talking about Lulu's all the time and I never found it in any stores. Um, she stresses that the dresses are the ones that really sells, but I was just happy to find Lulu's in general. I still picked it up. And these are like some pinstripe pants that's like very, very wrinkled. I hope the wrinkles can get out of it. <laughs> it's like in an olive green color. Um, this is in a size small. Again, just happy to pick up Lulu's. I don't care what condition it was in. I just wanted to pick it up to say that I picked it up. Okay, so. This is from P Pajama Graham. So I pick up one piece of Christmas attire every thrift trip that I have. This is really cute. Like, this is something I would keep. 
I noticed that the Pajama Gram in general, their brand sells very well on Poshmark and stuff. Like their their um their comps are a little higher for this brand than other Christmas items. Not like too much bigger, but it's a lot. So I'll probably price it a little higher than my other Christmas things and see if it does make a difference but I could tell why it's like a little bit more money is because like the the fabric and everything the quality is like chef's kiss <laughs> okay so for the next one that we have here this is for oh this is spider now when I first started reselling they said spider was like all the rage and I found a purple spider jacket at the thrift store for like it was on sale for ten dollars I think it was like originally twenty dollars and I got it on sale for ten dollars and it's been sitting there since I started reselling. <laughs> it's still in my closet. Nobody has bought it. It's been getting attention, but no one's bought it. And I think it's even brand new, um, just like new without tags. It doesn't look like there's any wear to it whatsoever. It's getting attention. I don't know if it's because of the size, because it's like it's a small, um, or because nobody was really doing anything during the pandemic in the winter months because it was like a ski, a, a ski jacket. Um, so I don't, I guess maybe that's why it hasn't sold just yet, but we're gonna wait another season and see what happens. If anything, I'll keep it. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because I live in Florida and we don't even know anything about snow. <laughs> um, yeah, so anywho, these sweatpants is also from Spider, and hopefully this does a lot better than the jacket, my purple jacket that's in there now. It has like zip ankles and it has like spider like really next really um close to the ankle zipper part has pockets and everything i believe these are in men's if i'm not mistaken so these are really 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 nice and in really good condition the next one that i have is this really oh there's a hole is that a hole or is that I'm not sure if this is the fabric pulling or anything, or if it's a hole. It's probably a hole. Oh, that's so... Can you see that? Right there. Uh, that is so disappointing. This is from Polo, Ralph Lauren. I don't look this over and I was like, oh, this is in such good condition. But this is like a cashmere... This is like a cashmere and wool sweater, and I just thought this would have been... Oh, so great, but I just noticed that, and I already said I was going to put this for like $40, this is like $40. I didn't see too many of these on Poshmark, but the one that I did see was like for a toddler. This is a medium women's, and I don't understand why Ralph Lauren stuff is like fits so small. Like it's definitely not true to size in my opinion, but that's a whole other story. So I'll just disclose that. I'm sure somebody will buy it. Ralph Lauren sells very well for me. Um, this is gonna probably be a hard sell, but I don't care because it's Victoria's Secret. It has a little jewel, like buckle, middle, front, middle part. Um, this is a triangle bra. This is like in a peach. I think I listed it as like beige, but this is more of like a peach or beige color. Um, swimsuit, triangle swimsuit top. It's in an extra small, so that's why I said it's probably not gonna sell. It's gonna probably take some time, but it's whatever. Um, this, this is really cute. I'm almost tempted to keep this for myself. <laughs> but it is a sports bra, and look how strappy it is in the front. It's in really good condition. This is from Victoria's Sport. It's in a size small. But yeah, that's really, really cute. We'll see. We'll see if she keeps it. There's another one that I wanted to keep and nobody's bought it yet. And I might just take that down off the site to keep it for myself. I'll probably put a picture of it here of what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's been listed there for a little while and nobody's bought it yet. So nobody's like probably out there seeking it because it would have been bought already, right? Well, not only did I find one Lulu's in one day, I found two. That's been happening a lot recently. Like the first time I found Lululemon, I found like three Lululemons. And like the first time I found, um, what was Billabong, I found like four of them. Like, I don't know how that works. But anyways, I found a Lulu's dress. It has like a little illusion, illusions like middle part here. 
Um, so I I tried to posh market and Google it to see what kind of dress this is because they have style numbers. I couldn't find anything on it, so I, I wasn't very sure um, what the price this is. Um, but it's a really good condition. This is just the lint. It's a really good condition and this is in a size medium, I believe. So I hope that this does well. I found this in a completely, completely separate bin all the way in the other end of the store from this one. So I guess it is very possible that someone can donate one thing and just have things scattered that crazy far apart from each other. Um, because this one did and I don't think it's a coincidence that both smalls in this and they're exactly alike belongs to the same person so it was like a plaid pj collar top it was really cute um if it sells it'll probably be closer to christmas but you know how it is with smaller sizes they do tend to sit a lot longer than the the large and bigger than that this is really cute I love the plaid and the flannel going on with it and I love the color, the black, pinkish purple and stuff. The only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the collar but everything else on here like I would definitely do. I would keep for myself when I say that. Um, and last but not least, at least for this strip tall, I'm going to probably add another strip tall to this after this to make this video a little longer. We'll see. Uh, but this is a pair of Victoria's Secret leggings. It has pink on the left, the left leg, um, burgundy bands on the top, and these are in extremely, extremely good condition. Doesn't even look like it's been worn, which I like. And I think this is a medium, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and it's in a medium. Uh, mediums, mediums, <laughs> mediums are weird. I don't get many mediums in any of the clothing I noticed when I went to look at my spreadsheet for everything I inventory. So I don't even have an opinion on whether it sells or it doesn't sell because the ones that I do pick up is not many. So I have to figure out exactly where the medium stands because he's just he's just right there in the middle, you know. So um, that is it for this portion of the thrift haul. Again, I don't know if I'm going to combine this, so I'm just going to do this separately. But this is about 20 items from the Google outlet and I'm going to be putting them on the site probably in the middle of next week. Um, so I don't know when this video is coming up, but they're going to slowly start making their way onto Poshmark, Vinted, Macari, and you know all those other sites. Um, so if you are interested, make sure that you go and you buy these things. The links are always in the description. Um, of my my closet whichever one is more convenient for you you can purchase these items from I would recommend doing it from Vinted because I sell them much cheaper there on Vinted because mostly the people who are buying on Vinted um, are a younger crowd with not much money and also um, there's no platform fees on Vinted so you know you're not losing too much money when you're doing it that way well you're losing a lot of money but you're, you could be losing more if there was a platform for me. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next clip or in the next video. Bye, her. What's goody, Perf? You guys wanna see my thrifted outfit? Hey, as soon as I start talking, you guys come. I'm sitting on the stool so y'all can't get me today. Hey. Okay, so this is my thrifted outfit today. I got this sometime last year right before my wedding and it says bride. Technically, I'm still a bride until, no, there's not gonna be until. She's just still a bride as long as she's married. <laughs> and pants, some ripped American Eagle jeans, size six, I believe. Um, and I wore this to work. Hey, you better not be eating the Christmas tree. All right, so this is gonna be a very short haul. This is a part two of last week's one. Um, I went there, to, I went to the thrift store late this time, so I couldn't grab a lot of stuff. And I, before that, I didn't have any intention on staying there much. So I was like, I'll get about 10 pieces of clothing 
I got 22 pieces though. <laughs> I got 22 pieces though. Um, but the other half of the clothing is like for myself and for my husband. And I don't think I got it for anyone else. I think it was just us two this time. It's like some Christmas things. And some things I wanted to do for the haul. For a future video haul. But I'm not going to tell you what that entails just yet. It's a surprise. Um, but things that I plan to resell right now. Um, first thing I picked up. Oh, by the way, it was 93 cents for each piece of clothing. So, yeah. I love it when it's under a dollar. I love it when it's a dollar or anywhere in the dollar range or less. It's always better. Okay, so this is Victoria's Secret. We have a little cami sleeper nightwear. So the keywords you'd like to put in there is lacy, spaghetti strap, flowy, sexy. You may not want to use sexy on Facebook Marketplace because they will remove the listing and think that you're selling something more than lingerie. But that's all it is, it's just lingerie. Just make sure you don't use that keyword again on Facebook Marketplace. Has a little bow here on the side, super cute. This is like, like in a bubblegum pink and white. So yeah, that's really cute, really cute. Next one I got was a fold over leggings from Pink Victoria's Secret. This is in a size small and it has pink, it has pink on the band with some type of animal print. I'm not sure what animal print that is. It might be leopard. It might be, I don't know. But yeah, pink, back looks like that. The next one we have here is from American Eagle. Um, not only did I go there late and was like picking stuff last minute, like I left at 6.45 and closed at 7. Um, they didn't have the best selection either that day. But I got American Eagle and although I sell American Eagle jeans very well, um, the straight regular ones are not that popular. I usually like to pick up like the stretchy ones, the jeggings type whatever. Um, this is Extreme Flex 4 and this is for men's in a size 34-32. So, although this probably isn't going to sell, it was still American Eagle and it was kind of hard to leave it behind, especially since it is in really good condition. This next one is one I am actually experimenting with because I told a few people, a few family members and close people to my family, like family friends, um, you know, with my reseller thing, and they're like, you don't have a lot of plus size. I felt like I had a lot of plus size in my Poshmark closet and other stuff, but according to them, it's not. So I decided that I wanted to start picking up Cacique and Lane Bryant, if you guys didn't know, they are with the same brand. Um, also, I don't know if I told you guys this before, but I used to actually work with Lane Bryant and Kasik. Um, I can tell you that now because I'm not working with them now. <laughs> but um, the bras look like they resell for a decent amount of money. I was seeing things in the $30 and $40 range. This is in a size 44 triple D. So I will be experimenting with this to see how this brand does. This is like lacy and stuff, has a little bow on the front. Is pink Victoria's Secret sleep bottoms. It's like polka dot. Um, this is in a swipe. This is in a size small. So it can either be worn like this. Or it can be folded down to be worn like this if you want it shorter and for the pink to show on there. This is like a navy blue and white Victoria's Secret. This is like a sports top. It has the little mesh on the back. Long sleeve, very stretchy. And the best part about this is that it has some holes. If I was working out, I might actually keep this because it's in my color. Sorry guys. 
It's in my color and it has thumb holes. Although thumb, thumb holes on stuff can be a little bit a little bit unsanitary, but it's cute though. So the next one we have is from Beach Lunge Lounge. I hear my YouTube retailers, resellers, I don't know why I always say that. I heard them say that they picked this up. I might believe it's like a Target brand or something if I'm not mistaken, but it's an animal print dress. I believe this is Leopard. I looked it up. I'm pretty sure it's Leopard. It's sleeveless, it's very flowy, perfect for summer. You could probably wear this to the beach or something. Um, yeah, this is really, really, really cute. Beach Lunch Lounge, and this is an extra large. All right, Selena. I love picking up panties, and I got your girl, Selena, on the sleeves. It says, famous, what? What, what does it say? Lamo La Flor. Don't come for me, guys. I think that's what it says. But that's the shirt with Selena. Selena, it's a crop top, long sleeve, super cute. Two more to go. We have, this is a tube top, believe it or not, <laughs> a flowy tube top. This is from Brandy Melville. Brandy Melville is a very hit and miss kind of style. I know some more plain styles don't get sold, but Crop tops seem to go well, but then I have a crop top still in my closet that's like the first thing I ever picked up. The absolute first thing I've ever picked up at the Goodwill Outlet bins was a Brandy Melville top and it's still sitting in my closet. <laughs> but I got another Brandy Melville after that and it sold like minutes later. And I got like a little jacket, sold minutes later. So it's like, if I get a Brandy Melville, it either takes a few years to sell or it sells within minutes. Like, there's no in-between. What's going on, Brandy Melville? But this is a tube top. It's very flowy. It's very cute. It has like, the lighting on the inside. And of course, it's one size, as they do with all their stuff. And last but not least for this entire haul is a very cute and strappy bikini top. It's like rainbows and everything. A little black on the front. Super, super, super cute in a size extra small, and this is from Victoria's Secret. So, oops, <laughs> that is it for the haul perps. If you are interested in anything that I had in this haul, please go ahead and go to any one of my platforms that's in the description bar. As always, if you have any questions, just send me a little comment. It may take me a while to respond, but I'm gonna get to you. I respond to every comment there is on the internet under my videos. Whether it's now or it's three years from now, I always, always respond. Um, and I will see you in the next hair video or roof video. Thank you for chilling with your girl, Pretty and Purple. Have a great day. Bye, perks. Love you.